<laughs> hey guys, here's my afternoon summary. My name is Melanie Hines, and I live here in Maine with my husband Kevin, who's a firefighter and EMT. Um, this is Sandman's intel from today. It says, it was today, Tuesday, I reported on it this morning in my live stream. There's a lot more details, but basically, the government is moving forward even though it's Ramadan. Prime Minister's media office, again, I shared this this morning. Um, Prime Minister Mohammed Chial al sadani presided today, Tuesday, the 13th regular session of the Council of Ministers, during which developments in the general situation in the country were discussed <laughs> and a number of basic files were discussed, which fall within the priorities of the government program and follow up on the implementation of its procedures in addition to discussing the topics on the agenda and issuing decisions in this regard. There was a lot of details, but with no specifics. In other words, they said things like, um, they discussed the regular items on the agenda and made several decisions. Al Sudani stressed that all ministers should be on time to evaluate the work of directors in their general ministries. He said um, they're subsidizing. Um, it says, what does it say? It says they exert maximum efforts during the blessed month of Ramadan to ease the burdens on Iraqi citizens in this holy month. His Excellency also directed the Ministry of Trade to address any delay associated with distributing food baskets and subsidized foodstuffs. And guys, they just went on and they talked about writing off debts, which speaks of Nasara and Jasara. Nasara is the National Economic Stimulus and Recovery Act, and Jasara is the Global Economic Stimulus and Recovery Act. You know, a lot of people think that's going to happen. I do too, as we switch to this brand new digitally blockchain system. I do think that's part of it. <clears throat> so I'll put that in the title of this. You'll wonder why, why all of a sudden is this up because. They're talking about writing off debts resulting from the cases below based on the amended federal financial management laws that they have passed. But guys, they give no real specifics. They do about which ones like construction permits, amount of fines owned by private commercial companies, the amounts of fines owed by taxpayers resulting from some articles they've applied. Um, it, and then it, it also talks about other things and they're implementing these resolutions all during Ramadan. So the government is moving forward. So a lot of people think that the, the Iraqi dinar revaluation cannot happen during Ramadan, but I disagree because Kuwait did. And Sandman disagrees too, because he's been told by the government, by his contacts over there, Sandman is embedded over there as part of the coalition forces. He's also pretty high up in the military and has met, um, number 45 and so he his contacts are saying it could happen anywhere between the 10th and the 24th of this month so what do you think comment down below um so he he gave he said everything's moving forward over there it's very quiet over there with regard to the R, ri front or the rv front or whatever you think do you think it's going to be a, a reinstitution or a revaluation let me know what you think um then the chamber of commerce uh, discusses European bank support for financing projects. They're working with the European banks to, to fund private um, companies in, in the country of Iraq. They are diversifying their funds, which is what everybody's asked them to do, to not just have primarily oil revenues. They need to have other kinds of revenues. That's what they've been doing, and that's why they've been working with all these other countries saying Iraq is open for business. Please come here and do business. General Electric's over there. Siemens was over there helping them with install their electricity. Ernst & Young was over there helping them. Um, audit their new financial systems. Everybody's getting in the new financial systems. They've got 90% of people now are banked in Iraq. They're getting everything in place for security and stability. The watchwords on Iraq in the global public, they were in Davos. Um, the watchwords for Iraq are secure and stable. So now they're just making sure all the details are in place and it's all happening right before our eyes. We're just seeing this be unveiled. Um, they also are going after people that are doing uh, notorious things, uh, you know, smuggling and stuff, and they're prosecuting those people. So they're getting everything set. And then the auctions, uh, as of today, so this was general stuff going on in Iraq. I wanted you to know things are moving forward, and this can still happen this month. So keep your prayers up there. Um, more than $220 million in, a, in Iraqi bank of Iraqi sales at auction today. What is this? They're selling their U.S. dollars. That's what this reports on. So it says uh, the correspondent said that the central bank sold today during its auction 
um, to sell and buy the U.S. dollar, $220,914,445, covered by the bank at a base exchange rate of 1305. Of course, not that that's the typical exchange rate that we've been seeing all along. It said the key is they're selling. They're not buying U.S. dollars. They're selling U.S. dollars. Right? They're still de-dollarizing, which is, was, which is what they decided to do in January. They're de-dollarizing. They continue de-dollarizing. So that's moving forward. So it's really good, guys. This is good news for us. Iraq is asserting their independence, and we like to see that. I personally love looking at this country be <clears throat> restored and refreshed in the global eyes. They are now becoming a diamond in the rough in that area and everybody wants to work with Iraq now. A lot of American companies are working with Iraq too. GE has contracts. They've been working with them for a while. This has taken a long time to get Iraq to this point and we're going to benefit from it because you've invested in the Iraqi dinar. This is not financial advice, but I've been a, an investor in this for 11 and a half years. I hope you will subscribe and tap the bell because I bring, I have a unique intel source, uh, Mr. Sandman 1 and 2, um, who who brought something that everybody else is reporting on now. He brings us stuff early and I love it. And I'm very humbled and grateful to God that he brought him to my channel because he likes the fact that I share truth, facts, and optimism and wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from God to keep you safe during your exchange. There'll be a pinned comment down below where you can find out more about that. If you're, if you're struggling with debt, um, God um, revealed to me some debt cancellation strategies. And if you're looking for freedom strategies, freedom from certain things that you're uncomfortable with associated with the majority of people's process that you're hearing about, like with from Dave XRP Lion and stuff, if you're concerned about some of that stuff, you can look and see what's available. It's under the title of freedom strategies. You can send me an email. I'll reply with the rates and how you go about that. In fact, it'll be in the pinned comment with the rate. It's $55 to get <clears throat> three pre, post, and exchange day strategies. So I'll look forward to seeing your emails and I'll reply with that information right away once you pay the $55. And so you can see, and you'll get a recorded Zoom. I will teach you how to do it along with the scripts of how to do it. So I'm empowering people, God's kids, how to do this, how to take control and, and get the benefit of my vast experience in the financial um, world. So this is Militia Man. This is fascinating because this is coming from the Iraqi government today in the same context of al-Sudani. There was an article, quote, the Iraqi government is currently weighing the question of changing the currency so that the official cost of a U.S. dollar will be 1.32 Iraqi dinars instead of 1320. Looks like they're, they're removing the three zeros off the exchange rate to me. Implementing such a decision is likely to significantly increase Al Sudani's popularity. You think? Bring the purchase power of 76 cents. That's what it equates to, deleting the zeros, just like we've been talking about. So I guess Militia Man agrees the, 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 the zeros need to be deleted from the exchange rate. So 1.30 becomes 1.32, which equates to 76 cents. So if you take that times a $25,000 note, I think I remember that being, let's see. Uh, 0.76 cents times the $25,000 note is $19,000. So wouldn't that be great? What would that do for you if you just took one note in? And if you use my strategy, be free to take one note in whenever you want, and then you can go back and take the rest whenever you want. So I don't believe in that whole uh, one-shot deal, right? Um, at least not if you want freedom. Um, so this is um, Frank 26 article coordination Frank work seeks early election to curb Al Sudani's growing popularity analysis quote the Iraqi government is currently weighing the question of changing the currency to that the official cost of a US dollar will be 132 Iraqi dinars instead of 1320 how now do you understand why they left it at 1320 even though they suggested that they would take it to 1200 or a thousand yep Frank was thinking it would go one to one or at least a thousand to one if they leave it at 1320 it could be a dollar thirty-two, so that would be good, wouldn't it? Comment down below. This is exciting, uh, and comment down below if you like my summaries because you can go one place and get it all instead of listening for hours to get a little bit of intel. Um, Newshound Guru Samson article: The Iraqi government is currently weighing the question of changing the currency so that the official cost of the U.S. dollar will be a dollar. Everybody's saying this: Iraqi dinars in third to thirteen twenty. Implementing such a decision is likely to significantly increase Al Sudani's popularity. Of course, it would. Uh, Mountain Goat article: The new Iraqi oil law undermines the dream of Kurdish independence. Quote: On February twenty. 
21st, the federal Supreme Court ruled that the Iraqi Kurdistan regional government must hand over all oil and non-oil revenues to Baghdad. This is a solid start to getting the oil and gas law completed and to parliament for a vote. That's another piece, which would be great. This must be completed to finish a constitutional requirement to fully implement the new 200 and whatever, 2005 Iraqi constitution. This was told to me a decade ago that this is critical to normalizing Iraq. We have no idea if that has to happen before this happens. You know, I, nobody knows, guys. Nobody really knows. I know that the Holy Spirit in me told me to tell you guys that it's done, right? And so I could prepare you with these freedom strategies. So if you want the freedom strategies, if you're Christian and you've been increasingly uncomfortable with what you've been hearing about the process to exchange your currency, then you're going to want to contact me down below and get the other information. And then you can weigh both and see what you want to choose. Um, it's always good to have choices. Uh, Mark Z said, a P via PDK contacts in Iraq, think it will go between the 10th and the 24th of March. That's the general consensus upon his Iraqi contacts as well. We brought that to you through, through Sandman yesterday, um, and he's agreeing. So somebody was in chat, in Mark's chat. I got a lot of Mark Z's watchers that come over to my coffee and conversation in the morning. They like the faith piece. I bring the faith and financial piece. And then... Um, uh, guys, it's just all good. And even Pimpy said it's, he's, Pimpy said Iraq has taken all the necessary steps. It's looking very good for Iraq as long as they stay on this path. Guys, we're praying this in. We're fasting and praying this in. If you want to join us, please join us. Subscribe, tap the bell. Please share with other Christians that are involved in this. I love you all with the love of Jesus Christ. Let's bring this thing in through our prayers and fasting. God bless.